Hey guys, it's Jenna here. Um, I'm alive. Don't worry, I'm still here. I know I haven't uh, posted a YouTube video for absolutely ages. Um, it's not because anything bad has happened to me. I'm completely fine. I've just been looking after my two little girls over the summer holidays and just decided to down tools for a few weeks um, and concentrate on them because they're only little for a short while, aren't they? And it's pretty absorbing being um, full-time mum, as I'm sure many of you know. So uh, I haven't had chance to, I have been art journaling, um, but I haven't had an awful lot of chance to film stuff. But I thought I would uh, come on and do a flip through of my journal to show you what I have been up to and uh, how God has used that to speak to me. Many of the pages I show you now have separate uh, videos on YouTube so you can see the whole process of me creating those pages. So have a look around my channel. Um, do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Basically, it, YouTube doesn't like you going on holiday, so uh, the YouTube algorithm will be punishing me severely for having a couple of weeks off, so that makes it all the more pr precious um, if you guys can give me some love and comment and thumbs up and share this video with anybody who you think might want to get more creative um, in their prayer time. Times, uh, and times with God. So I hope you're all well, I hope you've had a lovely summer and here's the flip through. So I haven't done anything special to the cover, I might do. I feel a bit lazy about covers these days actually um, and I thought I'd done something on every page but as you can see I have not done anything on this first page here. So that's still to do but I think I'm pretty much um, I've got something on every other page in this journal. So this is the first page. I'm not sure that it is the first page that I have done in the journal. Um, I don't tend to work chronologically through my journal. I will just pick a page and do it and then turn it upside down. And, um, so it ends up in a real um, pickle. This page was inspired by a film on Netflix, I think it is, um, called The Dig. And it's an amazing film if you haven't seen it. And it really uh, impacted me. There's lots of very poignant and thoughtful um, musings about life and death, uh, particularly um, the relationship between this little boy and his mother who is terminally ill. Um, and it really affected me. Um, I talk more about that in another YouTube video. This one, I um, don't think you will have seen before. I don't know that it fits all on the page there, but uh, this is something that kind of appeared on the page. This is coffee that I've painted with here. And um, this reminded me of the pillar of fire um, that led God's people out of Egypt and to me it's all about God's presence and I've stuck some of the Bible verses, I've actually cut them out and stuck them on here. Moses said to God, if your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. And that's so important, isn't it? Whatever we do, whatever our plans and um, we want God to go with us and before us um, otherwise what's the point point? Um, and so I did this page to remind me of that this is a lovely page that I didn't do this was done by the lovely Rachel Evans White who um, uses mixed media in a similar way to me um, if you haven't seen her work she has a YouTube channel um, where you can check that out as well. Uh, she used to live just up the road for me, but unfortunately she's not there anymore. So um, I got her to do something in my journal um, while I still had her nearby. So I treasure that. This page, um, I really like the way this page looks actually. 
and I stuck this kind of outline of a figure. I think I'd cut the figure out, but then I turned it over and I really liked the patterns that were on the back of the figure. So the figures ended up just being a kind of outline in the mix. That sort of made me think about the outline of the person of Jesus that we see in scripture and how that is gradually revealed and how Jesus was gradually revealed when he was on earth he didn't kind of turn up going ta-da i'm the messiah you know in all its fullness look at me uh, the revelation of who jesus was was quite fuzzy to start with um, and it was gradually revealed um, throughout his life and really only after he died and came back to life was the penny really dropping for the disciples and who he was but um John kind of got it didn't he when he saw Jesus and he said look John the Baptist I'm talking about uh, look the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world that was a kind of revelation moment and we sort of all have big revelation moments and little revelation moments about who Jesus is don't we and I just think there's more to come you know that you can't kind of plumb the depths of the fullness of who Jesus is so praise God for those moments where we see him and learn more about him and know him more this one again that's a portrait one there's a video about this on YouTube this is about building on the foundation that is Jesus and was after some pebble balancing on the beach I did with Sophia I did this on holiday um, it's quite fun to make the collage paper for these pebbles and, and stick it on so you can uh, see more about that in a separate video. Am I going back the right way? This one I also did on holiday. This was just a lovely, peaceful little moment really where I was enjoying creating, um, inspired by the view from my caravan window, which was of this, well, I suppose it was a... Um, hedge really uh, an overgrown hedge and it had seemed to have so much life and light in it lovely moment that, that I it just floods back to me when I see what I made there um, this is about the renewing of your mind that verse and there's a separate video about that about patterns of thought and um, how we need to have our minds renewed into good patterns of thinking this one again, I have to swizzle it round. Uh, this is just a kind of brain dump uh, mixture of note taking from a course I was on, experimental writing with my left hand. Um, yeah, not, I mean, just to show you, really, not every page in your journal has to be pretty, finished, um, holy, you know especially meaningful um, you can use your journal for all sorts of things you can use it for note taking experimenting playing and that's fine you know this page is just a really different page I suppose for me it's really simple but um, it was about God making a way through and it's a lovely peaceful page these are stepping stones um i guess through uh, maybe through a river or something like that but just a sense that god will make a way um i suppose linked to that i had never even thought that those pages were linked god specifically said to me the phrase um just keep putting one foot in front of another and then another Sometimes we need to hear that, don't we, when we feel overwhelmed, that, um, that all we need to do is just keep going, keep persevering, keep running the race for him. And a sense that as you do that, um, that it becomes maybe a bit easier, um, there's more freedom in it, and there's more ease in it as you persevere. 
that was thought. This was a really precious page. There's another video about this uh, where God, I was looking to God for guidance and he very clearly said that um, he was my shepherd, a good shepherd, and that I could trust his presence to guide me. It was a um, lovely video of that process too. This page um, is the verse, uh, we have this hope and an anchor for our soul. And we were playing with lino printing uh, as part of a course. So this was an old um, lino print of fishes that I had here. And then I cut this anchor too at the time. And my thought was that I know my anchor is firm that's Jesus, but maybe sometimes the thing that links me to the anchor, my my faith, I guess, um, and my thinking can come can get a bit messed up, and so I never need doubt my anchor. Sometimes I just need to straighten out my thinking. I don't know if you relate to that. There's a video for this one on YouTube. It was a beautiful day. Yeah, I think it was um, the thought that uh, to seize, to really be in the moment, I suppose, I guess, was a kind of mindfulness of like appreciating when the sun does come out. It's so easy to, um, to miss that, I guess, when you've got your head down, buried in the, the worries and cares of everyday life. So there's a whole uh, video about that one on YouTube as well. This was linked to coming out of lockdown and COVID. And I wrote the phrase, the road we traveled once and we will travel again. But can you really ever travel the same road twice? I think um, sometimes we just want things to go back the way that they were, don't we? Rather than um, having to face a new normal, a new reality. Um, but even if sometimes when we try to replicate a good experience before, um, things have changed. We have changed. We've moved on, um, perhaps. It's never quite what it was. So really this is about letting go, I guess. I did this page after a retreat in a forest, a ladies retreat. It wasn't a Christian retreat per se, um, but I just love meeting with God in nature. And uh, I think there's a video for this on YouTube as well. It's one of my 10 minutes of trusting. This page is about family, um, the family of God and how we need each other really. I've written out of connection, things start to grow. And just, I guess, uh, after uh, lockdowns and um, not meeting together as a church, just a real longing for that um, that huddle, that precious, um, safe and worshipful space of, of being together. Cute penguins. Um, this was a page about motherhood as much as anything. Wrestling with all of the challenges that come with being a parent and uh, some of my longing and um, thinking about that. I think not just about being a parent to my girls, but also all the things that I'm nurturing and growing in my life in terms of um, other people, in terms of ministry, and how really our job is to uh, bring people to Jesus, I guess, in any of those contexts. That's why I've written exposure to sunlight, as in Jesus. 
Oh, this was a lovely page. Really felt God talked to me through this page, um, thinking about burdens and um, how Jesus' yoke is light and how sometimes we think of something as a heavy thing, but actually maybe if we changed our thinking, it wouldn't be quite so heavy. Um, again, all about mind, mindset. And there's a video to go with that one also. Uh, don't know what this page is about. I don't feel like there's anything in particular that I can say about it from a faith perspective. I enjoyed doing it. I think maybe that's this might be one of those pages. Sometimes in my journal, I'll leave a page for months um, and then all of a sudden I'll come back and and God will start to speak. Um, so I've got a feeling that there's some unfinished work there that I need to keep going with. And finally, this is a little prayer nest that I stitched and I've stuck on here as a kind of slow um, meditative kind of prayer uh, for my family. You can see a video on how to do that on YouTube too. So that's my most recent journal finished. You know, I don't know whether it goes this way or this way or, well, but it doesn't matter, does it? Um, yeah so i hope you enjoyed that flip through lots more videos on my youtube channel please do subscribe and keep in touch see you soon